Sometimes football is more than a game, more than the perfectly manicured AstroTurf, more than a score. And no one may understand that better than a blurry number two, Julio Fuentes. 10 years ago, he tore up Alfred University's field. Short, but a ball of energy and a power that demanded attention from all 11 defenders. Five foot two, 150 pound running back who played against a lot of guys a lot bigger than him. He was bigger than all of them on the field. 10 years later, his coach remembers Julio's style of play well. He was the toughest son of a gun that I've ever had the opportunity to coach. That grit was on display in his sophomore year during his season opener. It was a kickoff. Julio didn't catch the ball, but while trying to block an oncoming player, a collision. Time stood still. I remember it all. I tried to get up, and uh, as soon as that happened, I knew right then I was, I was paralyzed. A spinal cord injury. Forget fighting for every yard on the field. He was fighting for his life. Julio's brother, Malik, was 12. He saw the whole thing. The original prognosis was that he was paralyzed from neck down, never going to walk again. That's what the doctor told him as soon as he came out of surgery. It's just tough going from being able to do whatever you want to do to not being able to do anything. Dependent on his wheelchair after an induced coma, a battle bigger than any football game was just beginning. No, no, I mean for years, he worked against the odds, hours upon hours of physical therapy, and Julio got the use of his arms back. And sure enough, ever so slowly, Julio started moving his legs again. That gave his physical therapist an idea. Have the athlete who was told he could never walk again walk on the field where he was hurt. I feel like I'm getting stronger and stronger, so it just, it just felt like it was the right time. His girlfriend had a better idea, walk off the field, something Julio was never able to do 10 years ago. Julio called me and said, hey, coach, I, I want to um, I want to walk off the field. It, it almost sounds like one of those scripts that uh, that gets written and this couldn't happen. When he told me that he was going to do that, I had no doubt that he was going to be able to make that happen. 10 years of hardship, 10 years of sweat, 10 years of a wheelchair. On September 3rd, 2016, Julio Fuentes stood up and walked off. Everybody had tears in their eyes, honestly. Literally happened like 10 feet away from the spot he got hurt. Here we go, Julio! On the sidelines, the president of Alfred University told Julio the school would pay for him to finish his education. A cherry on top to his great day. But Julio's day got even better. His longtime girlfriend became his brand new fiance. 10 years of struggle giving way to this day, this perfect day. I never really got too down. I've always worked hard. So just keeping that mindset and knowing that it's going to get better, it's going to get better, really helped out in the process. Julio Fuentes won't be a ball of energy running back ever again. And for Julio, that's OK. His football story is off the field now. He hopes to use his degree to help others struggling through injuries like the one he endured. In more ways than one, this field is the start of Julio's journey. It's where he was hurt, where he walked off, and where he begins the rest of his life. In Alfred, Jeff Rusak, 7 Eyewitness News.